Hi. <laughs> Who do I have in the studio on the Valter Beebe show with me? Uh, Tia. And uh, Dr. Leckman, Pete Leckman. <laughs> ah, I love it when they bring guests. Thank you guys for joining us. We're broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. And I was told that we're going to talk about the flu vaccine, correct? Yes. Yeah. All right, T. I love you, but I'm gonna start with Dr. Leckman. We're gonna let him <laughs> the platform. Okay. For All right, let's go. Dr. Leckman, could you tell us about the flu vaccine? Because I've run into a lot of people that don't get the flu vaccine. So tell us about it. Yeah, and it's 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 unfortunate that some people don't get the flu vaccine, and only about 50% of eligible uh, people in America do receive the flu vaccine. So first of all, it's important to know about the flu. So influenza is a serious illness. It's not a cold, it's not the stomach flu. It's a serious contagious respiratory illness that can result in high fevers and, and it's a bad respiratory illness and people can get complications like pneumonia. People with asthma get tremendously ill and particularly the very young and the very old get seriously ill from influenza. So it's something you want to protect yourself against. This isn't something you want to get. Up to 20% of the U.S. population, so 60 some odd million people, might get influenza this year. And it can really knock you out. And there's, there's fatalities in the elderly, a few fatalities in, in, in the younger population. So what I'm confronted with always is trying to tell people, why wouldn't you get the vaccine? The vaccines are entirely safe. They do not give you the illness. You cannot catch influenza from the vaccines. And that's a complaint I hear all the time. My mother got the vaccine. She was ill. I don't want to get sick. You might get a little fever from a vaccine for a day. You might get a little achy for a day. That's nothing compared to this severely, uh, potentially devastating illness uh, that you can get and then pass on to everybody around you. Okay. When you talk about the young, now that's a big debate because you know the young aren't getting uh, vaccinated. They don't. Their parents don't want them to get flu shots. So how do you bridge that gap for them? Well, luckily, it's a it's at a pretty low level. I think you know there's a there's always a low level buzz of of people choosing not to vaccinate, and and you just try to present people with the facts and make them understand that it, you really people need to understand how serious influenza is. Um, and then, and then B, explain to them that, that the vaccines available to us are, are very, very safe. And all you can do is repeat it. And usually what it takes, unfortunately, is for a family member or a child to get ill. And then the sort of light goes off that this was a big deal because not only was my child seriously ill, I had to take days off of work to do this. I was really scared. I ended up in an ER for, for eight hours trying to get my child treated. Maybe my child got hospitalized. My, my grandmother got it from my child and then she got really seriously ill and then people sort of see the light. But all we can do is, is be advocates for the vaccine, talk to people about, about why it's important to protect ourselves and to protect everyone around us from catching influenza. All right, that's where you come in, Tia. I know you're the advocate for it. I know you have, no, and I'm serious, I know you have a little one at home now. Congratulations on that. Oh, thank you. Yeah, my son, he's four years old now, and you know, like Doc was saying, I feel like it's my responsibility to protect him and to make sure that he stays healthy and not only him, my family. And I think that's why it's really important that I make sure that my family, we get our annual uh, vaccination. And I'm so excited to launch the Mom Knows Best campaign to help encourage moms and family members out there to do the same. I mean, you know, like Doc said, the, the flu is not like the common cold. I mean, this is something that could really have you admitted into the hospital. And I find that, you know, it is my responsibility to just protect my family and, you know, everyone else from getting sick. That's true. And then also, too, when you protect your child, you protect other children, I believe, because then they're not germ carriers. And I know I just recently had an interview with your sister, and I know she has two little small ones, and I know the kids must play oh, together. Exactly. And you know what? When kids get together, what do they do? They kiss each other. I know my son and, and my nephew, that's what they do. They kiss each other. They hug each other. My son is constantly digging in his nose and putting his hands, you know, in each other's mouths. And, you know, I think that's one tip that I want to share too as well, how we can help prevent, you know, one from getting sick or even, you know, catching the flu is making sure you wash your hands, making sure that you carry hand sanitizer. I know I put hand sanitizer in my, in my son's backpack, in his playroom. I have it in my car, in my purse, simple things like that. Or also, you know, when they're playing around and hanging out at school, um, when my son comes home, I take his clothes off. A lot of people don't know that the flu virus can survive on surfaces up 
to six to eight hours. So I make sure his clothes go in the washer, he puts on his play clothes, and you can actually find out more tips how you can prevent yourself from getting sick on tiasflutips.com. There are great ways, you know, that you can um, help yourself or protect yourself from getting sick, but the number one um, way to um, protect yourself is to get vaccinated and to encourage others to get vaccinated as well. I thank you and the doctor so very much. And tell me what you're cooking up on the TV. I'm watching you. <laughs> you know, I'm really excited to cook um, for the holidays. I have this great beef tenderloin, um, these garlic mashed potatoes, and uh, Brussels sprouts. I can't wait to cook for my family. Well, I'm impressed with you. <laughs> I really am on TV cooking. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you guys for talking about the flu vaccine and helping people understand a little bit better. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Bye. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.